What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, um, initially I wasn't going to do a reaction to Jim Cornette reviewing uh the WrestleMania 40 behind the curtain documentary. I was just gonna check it out off camera. It's like 34 minutes. I was like, you know what? It's a long video. I'm just gonna check this out to enjoy it off camera. I'm 13 minutes into the video, and Jim talks about the content creators that were featured on uh the documentary now for those who don't know me and the homie dub we was featured on there on the in the clutch page um also um wheezy wheezy blonde um was featured on there as well and um i think sandy and some other content creators now he initially called us podcasters or whatever initially called us podcasters and then um you know they started talking about uh you know some of the overreacting and all this other stuff so i want y'all to hear it first i've already heard the clip of uh, this part of the video and i thought it was funny like i'm not even gonna lie to you i was like he's definitely talking about us so i want y'all to hear it and then we're gonna talk about it it's just it's no beef i just want y'all to actually hear what he had to say if you haven't already so that. they knew cody was getting hornswoggled now, they showed a, a bunch of video, I, I imagine, of personally selected podcast marks. <laughs> Called us podcast marks. <laughs> That's actually funny. When I first heard that, I was like, he got to be talking about the reactors or the content creators. Because we don't just only react. Um, but obviously, we react to what happens in WWE. So, I get that. Let's continue. People not affiliated with the wrestling business that have their own little podcasts and they dress them up with the video and they have little costumes they wear because they're playing a part. They were popping for The Rock versus Roman <laughs> because I'm thinking that they probably had to guarantee Rock that there would be a certain amount of pop before they they talk about the fans blitzing Twitter and social media. with, Which is crazy because initially when we found out about it, you know, a lot of people was like that was checking it out was like, oh, shit, this is really happening. Oh, shit, this is this is a thing. And, you know, obviously, you know, you know how I get down. You feel me? Your boy was excited. Your boy was, you know, definitely lit. And that's just how I naturally am. But we're going to continue on. We want Cody and Rocky sucks. They had to prove the rocks point that a bunch of people wanted that match. But could you believe they put a bunch of. <laughs> I'm not talking about a podcast from someone actually in or formerly in the industry. I'm talking about a bunch of fucking <laughs> who the fuck are these peoples? Is that a plural thing? Reacting they like children. Again, there's one yes. thing watching these things and talking about it. It's another thing. Oh my God! Look at this! <laughs> no one reacts like that for real. They were... <laughs> I already knew. I already knew. That's that's funny. That's actually funny. And for those who don't know, and I've had that, you know, that comment, people have said, oh, no, they're acting. There's no way you do that for real. No, I do. <laughs> I, I legit do. Before I was even thinking about doing reactions to like wrestling content and stuff like that, I was checking it out off camera. That's usually what I, I would be lit. I'd be turned up. It, when I was living with my mom, my mom would be like, you know, come in there. Can you can you calm down? Like for WrestleMania 30, when I was staying with my mom at the time, and Daniel Bryan won, I fucking lost my shit. That shit was fucking lit, you know. And I turned up. This is before cameras and everything. So what you see on camera, that's really how I am, bro. I'm I'm that. You know, you can say I'm extra, whatever. In case I get excited, I have a good time. It's all fun for me. In the same way that people get excited for sports teams. Have y'all seen, you know, any sports team? Doesn't matter. The fans get into it. They 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 lose themselves in the fandom. In the same way here. So, yes, it's real. At least on my end. I can't speak for everybody else, but it's real on my end. Dub's more of the chill, but he will pop every now and then, but he's more of a reserve. Me, I'm the complete fucking opposite. So I, I kind of figured it was probably me, the clip they saw 
uh, or, you know, when I was like, oh, shit, I was going crazy. Like, it was probably one of those. I'm wrong. They, they were jumping up and down like schoolgirls with shiny new vibrators. Hey, yo. <laughs> and and so. <laughs> and that vibrator's name was The Rock. That's cool, Yes, bro. that's the thing. I mean, that's cool, Jim. Did Dwayne, I know he got Gerwitz from that's cold, Romper man. Room somewhere, but did he also <laughs> sign on some people from the Kremlin and the propaganda department? That's cold, Jim. Um, it, you know, it, Triple H was diplomatic, but that's you Knew, he knew what the fuck needed to go on. And then the, at the I started writing this down. The Rock's sitting there. I called Nick. All right. And I think that's it. I'm going to check out the rest of the uh, the video off camera. But yeah, I just wanted to just record this because I thought this was so hilarious that he literally <laughs> called us a whole bunch of marks and we was jumping up and down. And I thought that was funny, bro. He called us podcasters or not really podcasters or whatever. But, I mean, it's his opinion. Who am I to, to you know, this guy for his opinion? Once again, he's not the first person that said that. I've heard that plenty of times. Like, y'all fake reactions. Y'all be doing too much. Yada, yada, yada. That's cool. It's okay. I'm not tripping. I'd rather do that, have my reaction be over the top or just really be having a good time than to be out here doing all the dumb stuff people be doing for some fucking views i'm not even doing it per se for views i'm doing it because i'm actually I have, this is how i really am you know i just turn it up a little bit more on camera because i'm having fun with y'all to for y'all to enjoy it as well but this is how i am like what like i this is not a facade like my genuine reactions is what y'all see on camera bro you feel me so i just thought this was entertaining man there's no beef there's no issue Please don't make it one. I still check out Jim Cornette's videos and stuff like that. I may not agree with a lot of his points. You know, I may not agree with his takes on professional wrestling. He's come from a different era. But I can respect people's opinion because that's his opinion. Him and Brian's opinion of us was we look like some fucking marks. Cool. I ain't tripping, man. It's all love. But hey, comment down below. Let me know some other videos y'all want me to check out. Um, appreciate all love support y'all shown on the channel. Road to 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.